Jeffrey Dahmer soaked in blood. The Unabomber blowing up. Waco, Texas, and Heaven's Gates. Alien modified men from apes. Hitler faked his death and then escaped. Bigfoot and the Mothman. Son of Sam talking to dogs again. Witches, ghosts, and goblins. Mysterious noise and hot things. Dark guards and the skull and bones. Most celebrities are probably clones. So when you're feeling all alone, grab a beer and get stoned. I welcome you to the podcast, Strange Brew. We're here to entertain you. I was thinking about it today when I decided to drive out to our old home place, now run down and abandoned. Standing out in this field, it all comes rushing back. And an icy tingle starts down my spine when I recall that terrible, lonesome cry. It was so long ago that it seems incredible the creature is still out there, somewhere, right this minute, maybe even watching me. Mm. Of course, you may not believe that or any of this story. You may think the whole thing is a hoax, and that's your privilege. But if you're ever driving down in our country along about sundown, keep an eye on the dark woods as you cross the sulfur river bottoms, and you may catch a glimpse of a huge, hairy creature watching it's you the shadows. <laughs> yes, he's still here. And you know, I'd almost like to hear that terrible cry again, just to be mm. reminded that there is still a bit of wilderness left. It's and there are still wilderness. mysteries that remain unsolved. I would love and to hear unexplained noise the sounds of that lonely night. cry again. All I can picture is like Tom sitting in the <laughs> that hairy man. <laughs> it's like, mm. uh, it, it, it has some weird, like really yelling cry. <laughs> Welcome to the show. It's Tom and Billy. Yeah, we're here to uh, entertain you, and uh, we're talking about the Boggy Creek Monster. We're getting on to all, like this is our lead up to all our Halloween shit. So this is gonna be we'll be getting into all the Halloween stuff, and this is one of uh, after we did vampires. Now we're getting into the Boggy Creek Monster. It's gonna be a fun series that we're doing to lead up to Halloween. There's a lot of fun episodes coming out. So let's talk about Stay the tuned. Boggy Creek Monster. What about so I got some fucking. Bear Claw whiskey, harsh ass whiskey. Oh yeah, drinking beer like always. I don't like whiskey, man. Dude, just got that liquor, pineapple express. Bed. Liquor just fucks you up too much now. Uh, well, I just have one glass, or well, so. uh, my girlfriend's like, "Oh fucking, you know, like on the rocks, it should be like two ounces." Uh, and I'm like, "No, it's three fingers, and I got fat fingers, so it's four ounces." No, that's like fucking half a bottle. <laughs> of <your> fucking sausage. <laughs> <hands. laughs> yeah. So um, I, that's the thing, though. It's like when you drink liquor, it's like that's that's why I can't handle like. I don't like it because you'll drink it, and it's like I won't feel drunk until I'm loaded. Like well, it's like I'm sober, I'm sober, yeah. I'm sober, and then I am way too fucking yeah, drunk to function. Said, I like I like that. Um, like I, that's why I like sipping on whiskey, um, especially because we're not getting like too trash like we used to. We will in the future have some episodes where we'll probably get pretty drunk on, but like we're just kind of keeping it easy with the <laughs> fact that. To. I, uh, sipping on whiskey straight is easier because then you kind of feel it creeping up on you. If you're just taking shot after shot after shot. Well, no, like it's like, even... I, I feel the mixed drinks because I'll just chug, yeah, them, yeah, I'll yeah. Ch- chug them or they won't. Yeah. Or they'll like creep up on you too slowly yeah. and then you're like, give me two shots. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, well, yeah. Speed this well, up. And that's, and that's what when we used to record, I was listening to some old episodes and man, we used to get trashed and be sloppy as fuck. It was bad. And <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're getting better and we're going forward, making sure that we can entertain while staying sane. So like, <laughs> like, cause we used to just like hammer back shots and we'd be like having shots where we're recording and then, you know, halfway through we're Dumbest rambling about shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know start coming mean? up. Um, so, you know, I mean, I, I saw a comment on an Apple podcast, go fuck yourself. He was like, and this was probably one of the earliest episodes. Cause they were like, if they didn't uh, keep paying attention to the fucking movie they're watching, 
and uh, drink less or something like that. And I was like, that was probably like episode like seven. You know leave I mean? me alone. <laughs> yeah, because when we like, we, I'm barely we, into this. We used right to have now. scary movie in the background. There'd always be shit that we would see that make us laugh. The fucking uh, the amount of nudity. And, like <laughs> yeah. and you can't just not look at oh, naked look, girls. Oh yeah. and, and now we're still five yeah. years old. Okay. I know. And now that we got like a little studio thing going, we're, we don't have movies going. We're not like sitting in the basement. We're still in a basement. We're just not in the fucking. Tom gets to just stare in my dreamy yeah. eyes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, let's get in to the Boggy Creek Monster. Or see, and this is weird. When or I was looking this up, into you. I thought uh, it was like the Fook Monster. That's what I, I was like the Fooky. The fu- the Fooke <laughs> or the Fooka. I, I thought it was like the Fook Monster. The like, he's gonna Fook you. He's gonna Fook you up. But it's the f- <laughs> uh, Fuck Monster. No, it's, it's, not, the, it's not the Fuck Monster. <laughs> it's the Folk Monster. I gotta I gotta listen to that clip again. It's got like is it not Folk? It's Fook. It's like, no, no, it's uh, the Falk monster. That's what it's it is. It's Falk? It's Falk. And that's why it's weird because oh, it's F O U K E. Yeah. Where it would be like, I would think Fuke. I thought Fuki. <laughs> or or, or if it was French, it'd be Fuke. Fuke. So, like, when I even was researching this, like, yeah, there's no asterisks over it, though. Yeah. So, you can't have so the it's a. the, uh, the f- uh, what did I say? The, the, I, the I Falk. Forget. Falk. I know. They could have spelled it better. Yeah. With sightings dating back to the 1800s, the legends of the Falk monster of Boggy Creek is an important part of Arkansas folklore. And it's, it's funny we're talking about this because I've definitely made fun of those Arkansas. Yeah, you need you need something to take off the fact that they're eating fucking children. <laughs> <laughs> What? Is that what Arkansas people do? Yeah, go watch the Tom Secret stand up. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does make fun of them. Uh, lurking in the bogs. Arkansas is like, are you done with that baby? <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, lurking in the bogs of Arkansas, the Falk monster frightens motorists, homeowners, the hikers. The stories of Boggy Creek and the monster who inhabit it was a subject of the 90, 70, 1972 cult classic, The Legend of Boggy Creek. Mm-hmm. And that guy... Wow, they made the movie. It didn't happen in 71. They made the well, movie like they, yeah. immediately well, after. Well, there's stories that say, you know, because me and Juan uh, not long ago got in the Wendigo, and that's kind of like where things get recycled. Mm-hmm. Where I was watching a video and a documentary on this, and the guy was kind of saying, like, back in the day... Um, if you start talking a bunch of hubaloo and you're like saying like, I saw a fucking monster, then people will run you out of town. But he's like, nowadays everybody makes up shit. So he's like, you can tell stories about a monster and you won't be fucking putting a clinical, uh, fucking insanity. No, everyone just rolls <laughs> yeah. their eyes and walks away from you. Exactly. We should, we should have stuck to that rule. <laughs> Fuck. I gotta have like SWAT teams I'll, coming in on Tom and yeah, Switch LA so will, fucking quick. I wouldn't be fucking here right now doing this. Cause we're fucking get him, <laughs> get him. So I'm pretty sure. Um, and I was going to watch the movie cause I've never seen it. I've never even fucking heard of it, but I watched the trailer for it. it it's from a, a 72 movie. I'd like, I have a really hard time. That's too old, low, man. I can't it's low budget. Yeah. It's and a, and low in, budget. Yeah, it's I don't think I'm independent film. Ugh. It's, it's low budget. Um, I'm a classy bitch. I, I need like high yeah, class shit. I think that's what the guy was talking about. Uh, when the beginning of the clip that we have, I'm pretty sure that's from the movie. Because okay. I really looked it up to see where it was from, and I'm pretty sure it's from the movie. Okay. Um, and we got a song coming up later. We got two songs, actually. A little fun stuff yeah, that yeah, is based fun. on the legend of the Boggy Creek Monster. The central story Not was based song. on testimonies from Arkansas natives recounting their terrifying stories from Arkansas. I wonder how many people, like, how many people actually think they saw it versus how many people are like, I, I saw it too. I know. It was me. Me too. I was I there. I'm a part of something. Yeah. <laughs> I feel lucky I know how to say Arkansas because if I could pronounce it, I'd probably pronounce it Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not spelled right either, is it? Like, it's not yeah. saw. Yeah. No, it's S right. A S at the end. Yeah. So Arkansas. Size? Arkansas. <laughs> the Close look, enough. But look at uh, Ontario. Like, the way you could pronounce some of our fucking Canadian... What, what do you mean? Ontario. There's no, no. fucking mis... No, there is not. <laughs> that Even, is like, like plain as day what it is. Manitoba is the same way. Yeah. Albert. Yeah, everything matches up. I guess, except for Saskatoon. 
That could be yeah. Saskatoon. No, it's, uh, it's all yeah. pretty close, though. <laughs> Go back to the Wendigo episode. I fucked up saying Saskatchewan, and I'm from Canada. I was like, Saskatoon, because I was high, and I was like, okay. Fucking Tom. You're fired. You're fired. Little town called Fuck Fuke. I'm just joking. I keep forgetting how it's We all know the town. Just say from this town from here on in. The little town called Falk with the population of literally, they have like 800 people. Yeah, they just wanted to get put on the map. They're like, hey, let's eat everybody. Got All right. <laughs> I'll take some opioids. Let's go. Let's go into a woods. Want to hear this beautiful song? I've been listening to this a lot. Way back deep in the woods Down where the sulfur river flows There's this spooky old place That folks call Boggy Creek See, there's something living back in that swamp but what it is ain't nobody knows If you listen to the old timers this is Wait till this chorus, man. The chorus is the best part. Not good in woods. They say the folks living that around foul. They only See, that's how know when he comes around Cause all the dogs everywhere They all stop to be and howl he may be creeping around your house He'll slip up on your porch Tell me what was that sound there Isn't it no good? I like it stops him when he gets <laughs> the earth to the crowd Alright Do you believe in the foul monster? No! 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 Well maybe so If you've ever heard his lonely Okay. We both That's enough of that. All right. I actually kind of was digging it. I listened to it about like two or three times, and I was like, okay, I'm starting to like this. Yeah, um, it's got good rhythm for sure. <laughs> I, I guess like the this. original song was by Ronnie Mack. I think this is a cover of it. Um, but that will be played at the end of the episode if you want to hear the entire version of it. It gets pretty good. Like, if you're sitting on your tractor there, and then you get a little scared. It might be the fuck monster. Like, it's... He's gonna fuck me. <laughs> I got the I, background vocals I kinda for sure. li- I kind of liked it. Honestly, I kind of yeah, liked I, it. I, I like those old-timey, like, that... Uh... I, I that's, feel like that's uh, where country should have No, well, that's like, um, that's like bluegrass. Yeah. Like that's, folk, uh, well, that's folk where music country kind of, like, came yeah, from. It's but, yeah, that's... but like originally, like what if they didn't, if music didn't have blues, we wouldn't get have music we have yeah, today, right? So, that's, that's the original. The well, folk... I guess if music didn't have fucking... Um, Egyptian chanting, we wouldn't really have <laughs> Egyptian chanting. You're yeah. talking about Steve Martin's fucking song? No, I'm talking about where, like, where, like, hums and tunes have originally oh, yeah. been like, wow, that that appeals that to my ear. That sounds good. Yeah, that'd, be, that that'd probably good. be back when, fuck, maybe even before that, but as early as I can think of, is Egyptians, like, humming to the sphinxes. So they did? Yeah. They, they all bowed they and they chanted. To their sphincter? They, well, they all chanted in unison. <laughs> All I picture, uh, <laughs> no, not that, was a line of people like um, human centipede, but they're all humming into their sphincters. And the guy, the, the guy at the Is top, like some? opens his mouth, and it's just <laughs> super fucking loud. Yeah. <laughs> it's like PA level shit. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I wasn't thinking about he doesn't that. Even have to, he doesn't even have to it's make like a sound. Um, He's like, can't hold it. Yeah, it, it's like putting like five megaphones together. Yeah. It's like, hello, hello. And it just echo through every single one. That's Other countries are like, did you hear that? Did you hear that? What was that? Is that someone humming through an anus? <laughs> <laughs> the Egyptians are at it again. <laughs> yeah. The folk monster, uh, no, I keep saying the Falk monster, the sorry Arkansasians or whatever the fuck they call you, <laughs> Arkansas's uh, baby ears. <laughs> <laughs> the Falk monster facts vary as there's no like definitive evidence of the creature actually existing. It is said to be tall, hairy, and potentially dangerous. It's much like a Bigfoot. I was, gonna, I was gonna say that I was gonna say Yeti, but yeah. It's much like a Bigfoot. Yeah. Like it, it seems like in the descriptions, it's like an offshoot. Like uh, me and Juan talked about Bigfoot and his cousins, and we didn't even talk about this fuck. Bigfoot's got cousins. He's got like well, there's like, like the, an actual family. There's the, there's the Yeti, and don't you remember? No, but that's not actually Bigfoot's cousin. No, no, it's just a, it was a <laughs> oh, joke, okay, right? Okay. Like, but the fact that like we've talked about these kind of monsters before, and you never even. even um, 
like we didn't even mention this one. Yeah. And we and Justin, I think you were on the one of the Strange Monsters one. We talked about uh, Yellow Top. It was yeah. it's the yeah, Canadian yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking Bigfoot, and it looks like Bigfoot, but it has some weird like bowl cut blonde hair on the top of its head. It's yeah, he was Bigfoot weird. in the 90s when the, <laughs> when the parents never took their kids yeah. to hairdressers. They're like, I put this salad bowl on your head. I got this. I can't. I My mom did that. And the funny thing is, <laughs> uh, I'll just say this because it's fucking hilarious. I dyed my hair blonde. I was like maybe six or I probably was like six or seven. So like grade... I would say four, five. Uh, I think four, because I wouldn't let my mom do this uh, later on. And I had blonde hair, so then she cut my head into a bowl, oh, and then all my straight, shit like, underneath alone, were man. was dark, so it literally looked like I had a like a, a yellow mushroom on the top of my head. <laughs> and it was my school photo, and I have pictures of it. If I can That's find good. one, I will That's post it shit. on the, uh, the Facebook page. So what made this so publicized and actually so like it branched out was the actual movie in 1971, which is weird that that's well, no, what it that's gave the it attention. Happened. But that's what I was talking about. Like what when I was movie, saying about the sorry, Wendigo movie in 72, right? Yeah. yeah. It actually Se- happened yeah. in 71. Yeah. Cause it, the sightings that occurred in 1971, 71. which is weird. And so, then the movie happened immediately a year yeah. after. I think that's nuts because some guy was like, Man, I heard about the the Falk monster. I got like a grand, especially back then. I got like, a grand. I like, could do this. I think, I, yeah, I think. Oh, 1970 I would love is to look not up 1670. The look up uh, the <laughs> look up the Boggy Creek uh, legend fucking budget. budget. Yeah, I could see a Graham making a movie even 40 years ago. Mm-hmm. You could well, Graham buys a camera, and then you you call it like 400 dollars for your camera, 300 dollars for paying people to come, yeah, and then back then, yeah, yeah you make yeah. that shit for 800. It's not back then. Oh. It's only 40, 50 years ago, man. It's only fifty. This years is ago. not right. What does it say? It says that the, the the budget was a hundred grand. Somebody did a lot of cocaine. <laughs> <in that laughs> <Yeah. budget. laughs> no, because I watched clips of it and it doesn't look. Uh, but like I guess ten grand, the equipment, the sound guys, the actors, that actually kind of makes sense overall yeah. of how much it would take because you think about it like um, John Carpenter. Uh, when he put out Halloween, Halloween was like near a budget. Did you know what the Michael Myers mask is? It's because we're in Halloween season anyway. Yeah. Uh, do you know what it is? Like price? Like, no. Do you know like where they got the mask from? No. It was a fucking, um, what's the guy from, uh, you know, William Shatner? What's his name? I Kirk. know who William Shatner is. Kirk, the guy that he played, the guy. Star Trek? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's his name, though? Captain Kirk? Cap- Captain okay. Kirk. Well, he, there was a Captain Kirk mask, right? Okay. Uh, it was like a mask that was blonde on the top, and it was just like a... It was they took a Captain Kirk mask and... And they... spray painted it. Put, like, ah. painted it. Isn't that weird? That's where they got it from. That's pretty And cool. so this makes sense, because Halloween was a very low-budget movie. It was pretty easy to essentially film one of the first slasher films, Halloween, right? Where you have them call it doing... A mill. Yeah, a hunt... <laughs> no, it wasn't. I'm telling... <laughs> Let's call it a mill. Okay, <laughs> Come was... on, loan officer. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. So it was three hundred and fifty grand. So that's still a lot. You said thirty six uh, before. What? No, it's thirty five grand. Yeah. Okay. So I'm kidding, I'm, now you're confusing 30, me. No. What do you mean? You're the one talking. <laughs> Tom's mom's calling. Oh, fuck off. Answer the call on the podcast. Put it on speaker. Hello. Hi, honey. I'm doing a podcast right now. You're on speakerphone. Oh, hello, everybody who's there doing podcast with Thomas. <laughs> okay. Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, that, that's, who, who's there? Is that Billy? Yeah. That's Billy. Hi, Billy. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. We're going to continue talking like this, too. <laughs> no. I want this to go on. <laughs> All right. How are oh, you I, doing? So when, when do I get to meet Billy? You met, you met him at the restaurant, oh, remember? I met Ryan in the restaurant, but that was before I, like, really knew Billy, you know, so now I know Billy. Oh, okay. So I okay. get to know him and meet him and everything. Oh, we'll, we'll make some plans, time. Joe. <laughs> All right, I'll call. I'll call you back. Just text me what you have to say, or I'll call you. Uh, what do you mean, text me what I have to say? You should always want to talk to your mom. Okay, he should. <laughs> he should, mom. shouldn't he? You should, you should be calling and checking up. Let's with teach mom. him a lesson. <laughs> the new job is going. Uh, I was gonna right? ask you about that, but I I forgot because I forget everything. Uh, all, all right. right. Well, go. go. Your podcast. I love you, Tony. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peace out, Mon Dukes. Dukes. Love you, too. <laughs> okay, hang on. All right. That's my mother. I don't know if I'm keeping that Yeah, or not. you are. Okay. Carry on. All right, what were we talking right. about? So, like, and that was just saying how the, the, the fucking, just the amount of money that was spent, you know what I mean? It's like, it's it sounds like a lot to me. 
But like I, I didn't for like you know we thought camera equipment, fucking actors, all that shit. Yeah, it takes like a lot of shit. But so like, and they uh, publicized it and they made it like famous. And so it was how a did they do it with? Film. Oh, sorry. Are we still talking about Halloween or the this one? Let's just get back into the the. Photo oh, okay. I was like, there. I was still talking about your thirty five thousand dollars for all that for Halloween. No, uh, three hundred and fifty, right? I think that's you right. said thirty five, but. Okay, so damn close to half a million dollars. That's not a low budget film. <laughs> yeah, comparatively to um, uh, how much money it made and what they thought it was going to be, oh, it was yeah. a low budget film. I guess. I guess. Three hundred twenty five grand. I guess. Yeah. I fucked that up earlier. Okay, it was three hundred twenty five okay. grand. Cause I shut up my phone. I didn't see okay. what I was looking at. But it was three hundred twenty five grand. And you think about theirs was a hundred grand. I was like, I still, I still want to think about like the price of a new Hyundai. I know. Like, so Hyundai or. <laughs> So the multi million so dollar film monster was only a hundred grand. Okay. So you think it was only two hundred and twenty five more to make Halloween, and Halloween has literally gone out in history as one of the best fucking horror movies ever. Yeah. It's been one of my favorites ever. Like I watch it every single fucking year, if not fucking five times a year. Uh, yeah, I believe that. You're <laughs> fucking psychopath. Uh, but like the fact that they did make the film for such a low budget considering and i guess it became like probably a cult hit because i was watching the trailer and i was like i'm reading comments like, my dad showed me this film and i i still like this film it's it's ridiculous yeah it's ju- it was never made just the monster, for the people really. in arkansas and yeah. everyone else is like you fuckers are lunatics <laughs> so like um yeah so there's always the i really hope we have but an arkansas listener we do we oh. have some. What's up, fuckers? I can't um, wait till you guys talk to me about what you feel. <laughs> <laughs> Even today, residents, and we'll get to this at the end of the episode. We're talking about recent sightings, but the Falk Monster, they're still there. There's a lot of things that, like, they still believe in it in this town e- of even 800. though, even though in eighteen uh, or 1986, the authorities have deemed this as a hoax and that was that gave it proof. Okay, also, uh, the authorities kill people for no reason of color, so I don't believe anything they say. Well, okay. they're, they're very open about killing people, so they, they don't lie. <laughs> well, early- they're, very, they're very proud of it, too. They'll be filmed, and they'll be like, look what I'm doing. Yeah, I know. Fuck off. That's terrible. So, like, I call them horrible people, but liars? Uh- <laughs> <laughs> well, early sightings date back to the 1800s, like we said. Uh, the story that put the Boggy Creek monster on the map occurred much later. Bobby and Elizabeth Ford reported the monster attack on their home on May First, 1971. <laughs> I, mean, I can just think of like <laughs> what? just a super fucking hairy dudes in their kitchen, like rummaging <laughs> through their fucking shit. And he's like, yeah. I'm the Bobby Creek monster. And he runs out the fucking window and they're like, oh my God, it was the Bobby Creek monster. It's just <laughs> some <laughs> hairy ass homeless dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be true. That like could, fucking that hungry. Could be true. Uh, so Elizabeth reported the monster. This is fucking scary. Reached through her screen window and was chased away by Bobby. Bobby chased him away. Bobby, get the propane. Uh, <laughs> this and- guy must be real strong to put his hand through a screen window. Yeah. Ooh. Well, he's supposed to be his- 7 to 10 feet tall. We'll yeah, this guy's it. fucking jacked. Yeah. Super hard to break them screens. And uh, <laughs> so he was chased away by Bobby. Uh, oh, it was chased away by Bobby and his brother. Which they don't seem to mention, but they mention Elizabeth and Bobby, but not they don't want to mention the other brother. Yeah. He's just some kid locked in the <laughs> fucking basement. He's the guy that came up with the baseball bat. So this is crazy. This thing, like, whatever. Why is he locked in the basement? It was probably a homeless guy. I'm just making a joke. Because <laughs> oh, they okay. don't mention his name. Okay. Um, But, like, the fact that that's scary in general, and they probably have that in the horror movie, something reaching through your fucking screen window, which wouldn't cost that much money mm-hmm. to film. And But, like, that would be scary in general. Even if it was a homeless guy with hairy arms, it still would be scary. So Bobby obviously warded away. So that's where they get. That would be more terrifying. (laughs) I'd be more scared if it was a homeless dude doing that to my screen than a monster. I know that I can kick a homeless guy's ass most likely because they're malnutrition. They might be cracked out of their tree, buddy. (laughs) You might be him for a good fucking run. So you swing a baseball bat until there's no brains left. That's what I mean. Like they they might be taking those hits and not feeling a damn fucking (laughs) thing. It's like, like, buddy, I fucking did a bottle of perks today. Good fucking luck trying to make me. All right. So fucking. So I guess the monster returned later after Bobby chased him off. And the thing was pissed at Bobby. So the thing... <laughs> Motherfucker, I brought my own baseball bat. <laughs> so the thing attacked Bobby, throwing him on the ground. It is clear something attacked Bobby that night. Bobby was treated for large gash wounds and mid-shock at the nearby hospital. I don't know what... Oh, mild shock. 
So I'm out. I don't know what I saw, but the thing is, like, what the fuck attacked him in the first place? Was it a Bigfoot or was yeah. it? You know what I mean? Like, I do believe that there's got to be shit out there that maybe we haven't discovered, or maybe that just hides out, or maybe that's interdimensional. There's things. You know what? You know where I like. I, I think the majority of that would be like because on land, we've pretty much conquered it. Like for yeah. like even like maybe yeah. not the heart of an Amazon rainforest or, maybe or cold shit no even that fuck Antarctica? me man dude we've gone pretty that's where damn Hitler fuck. went yeah I don't okay calm down okay <laughs> <laughs> um anyways no I'm I'm thinking if there are creatures on this planet what if they're smart like like almost the intelligent that we the intelligence that we are like that's I think they, they would have to be more if we haven't found them yet. But they, when me and Juan talked about it, they they even someone they're hiding interdimensional out, gonna... beings supposedly. Oh, okay. Like, like maybe, just... maybe I I think like what I was getting at my point though is if we, look if, at if, Chewy. Okay, if there's any Chewy, fuck up. If there's anything on this planet that we haven't seen yet, I'm guessing most likely it's, it's probably underwater. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Uh, that that's probably yeah. the more realistic answer there. That there might be some creepy ass. No, fucking I agree. Thing and me and Dan water. talked about that. And God and knows, maybe they, maybe they come up once in a while. Maybe they're just like, oh, I can also walk on land. And we don't know that because then anytime they get seen, they're like, well, oh, back in the water. We talked about this. I mean, you even saying like that. Maybe the UFOs and aliens aren't above us all the time. Maybe mm-hmm. they're in the ocean and they're just, or they're from outer space, but they know where to hide. What can't they get to and they're spending no money on? Oh, the ocean. Okay, we'll just build a base down there. Or even the fact that uh, if, if you want to say that, if we want to go on the alien route before we go too deep into this, yeah, but yeah, if you want to no, go on the I'm alien sure. route and say, like, they can hide out and also, like, know where we are at all times, I'm sure there's a little fucking radar that tells you where yeah. people are. And, like, the other technology they have, they have any... a house, they press a button, boom, the house is in the Antarctica. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Evacuate. Yeah. Ah! So after come on, that, Hitler. <laughs> so after that night, no blood was found at the Ford's home, though. Bobby and Elizabeth Ford. Right? No, no, no blood. None of them. Eh? Uh, but there were scratches on the porch, and one of the windows was damaged. It's just Bobby drunk and like try to like fucking grab his sister's tit because it's Arkansas. <laughs> I believe it. Now the story's <laughs> adding up here. <laughs> This is where the fucking facts come out. (laughs) There was also a three-toed footprint found in the yard. Three toes? That's fucking hard to walk on. Heaven forbid that's a fucking deer. No, it's like toes, like human toes. Oh, are they? Like rounded. Or a fucking deer paw print? No, hooves have two. Because they're two. Yeah, hooves, dude. Deers have three. Don't they? No. Am I wrong? You're wrong. Deer prints We're have... We're not looking... Every time I say you're wrong, <laughs> I'm usually right. Deer prints have three prints, do they not? Dude, we live in Canada. Bun- I've seen I... deer prints a thousand times. All right. Okay, I'm looking it up. up. They, they either have three or four. They don't have two. But they're they don't one... have hooves. Okay, I... They're not fucking horses. Just look it up. They have feet, man. Okay. But it's like a hoof. Kind of. They have, Motherfucker! They have feet, Deers man. have hooves. No, they don't they have toes. toes. They don't have toes. It's they don't have hoof. hooves, though. They're like fucking weird. Feet. Pigs have hooves. Fucking yes. cows have hooves. Yes. Horses have hooves. That's what I just said. Deer and so do, do not. deer no, and they, fucking elk they, and fucking moose. Moose, maybe. Hold on. All right, I think you're fucking. Going look crazy. At this I want to see a deer print. Right. So I was right. No. No, I was right. They do have hooves and they're two. It's like, it looks like a um, two fucking triangle kind of shapes. Oh my God. You know what they found? What? They found fucking turkey. Bottom left. They found turkey prints. One of them. The el- they found turkey prints. That's a turkey print. I thought deer had feet like turkeys. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're an idiot. Then. Look at that, though. Seriously. <laughs> I know. But a, a big creature wouldn't have that. The fucking elk's foot looks like two like um, chicken breasts. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? That's what, that's what deer's feet look like. Yeah, And the elk, too. Yeah, yeah it's like two chicken breasts side by side. I thought deer had toes. No, you fucking retarded. You know what I'm thinking of? Well, go, you, go look at Bambi. This- I think Bambi has toes. Toes. No, it doesn't. Bambi has hooves? No, yes. Even Bambi? <laughs> Even Bambi. Oh my god. Why well, why do they think Why do you get dumber toes? and dumber every time why, you're on why, this podcast? Why do they think you have toes? <laughs> I don't well, know. Why wouldn't monkeys have toes? Yeah, no, humans have I toes. I understand, but that's why, a fucking why, it. Then no, why do they think that though? There's a damn good reason why I think that. And I think it's because a childhood TV deer had fucking toes or something. What are they doing? That's, I want to see Bambi's I'm feet. I how stupid and <laughs> retarded that is. 
All right. They don't look like you picture them. You picture All their right. body and so then you picture their legs. You just don't think yeah, it's a hook. They found two like they found three toed footprints and they're talking about like toes. That's what I'm just saying. They look like turkey prints. Turkeys don't have toes. They look They have talons. They look Exactly, and in a print looks the exact fucking no, same. No, they're talking about, thinking about Bigfoot, Oh, right? you're thinking like a foot and a then foot. three toes. It says toes. Uh, it says a foot. They found a, t- a toe. I, I think they just found foot a footprint. I think they found a turkey They turkey, found three toed foot footprints. Foot I think they okay? found a turkey footprint. Not hoof prints. No, turkey prints. Oh, okay. Turkeys there's, a, there's a huge turkey out there. All right. Turkeys, you have, you have fucking GMOs, man. So the they're incident was spa- inspired the 1972 film... You're Jesus. slow, folky. How, how much do you like it? Here the sulfur river flows. Our deers have toes. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> where the creature goes. Safe, but in a world he goes. Perhaps he dimly wonders why. Is there no other such as I? To touch, to love before I die. Where he searches, where he goes. All I'm hearing is, I really want to read the emails. Shut up! Tell me you don't hear deer's head toes every line. You can guess the reason why. For whether he's a beast or man, what drives him wandering across the land, his love or other on his plan, a loneliness he cannot stand. Okay, that's enough. You can add this to the end, too. We're done with no, this. No, it's almost over. To my lonely cry. I like it. It's folky. It's old. He's like, listen, you sometimes hear. It's just like so old school and sounds like the fucking 70s. <laughs> and like, oh, man. That sounds like 50s, man. That's 50s What music, music are you listening to? In the 70s? I was listening to like uh, my, whatever my dad's balls were listening to at the time. <laughs> you weren't even in his balls at that time. I could have been. You, you know, were. You, you don't were, know me. You were in another world. You, in another. You, you were actually. You, you were, don't know me. Okay? You, don't know. you were already like in a life already. You were ready to die in the next like fifteen fucking actually twenty years. That's Im- that's impossible. I'm immortal. Okay. I won't yes, die. which yeah, your soul will always survive. No, 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 my body. I read a whole I'm book immortal. at the cottage this summer about reincarnation. And shit. Tom read a book. Dr. Read books Seuss's all the fucking go dog time. Go. No, wait, you don't read. I read two books at the cottage. One about fucking mushrooms I can't, and aliens. I can't, man. I can't stare at the fucking pages. I, I you'll never learn. No, I have ADHD. I can't focus. I have ADHD. I have. That's fucking neat. How the fuck do you read a book? Because I can't. Because I enjoy doing it. I can't. I can't fucking. Focus well, they on that told page, me man. I had it. Okay, a boy named Lynn. Cra- <laughs> what? His name is Lynn. A boy named Lynn Crabtree. I'm sorry if you're still alive and you. Oh, hear that's this a ever. shit name. I know. Girl name and then. Crab tree. <laughs> oh. Yo, girl, crab tree. <laughs> Yo, crab apple, get over here. Linda. You fucking being crabby again? <laughs> a boy named Lynn Crabtree reported seeing the monster in 1965. So it does go back before. Oh, yeah. He needed something to get away from that name. <laughs> It's according like, to, I'm gonna tell you this info. Just don't publish my name, please. According to Crabtree, the encounter of the monster while hunting, while well, he shot it, he shot at it numerous times. Nothing happened. The monster did not appear to be affected by the bullets. The story was not reported at the time, but Crabtree's family came forward with another account. After widely being publicized, so like after the f- so they didn't tell anyone. This is the homeboy was saying on the documentary I was watching. It's like nobody's gonna talk about it because they'll run you out of town. But when uh, later on, when those the Ford people had the the big hairy arm go through the fucking window in the kitchen, okay, this guy saw the story and was like, "It happened to me too." It, it also <laughs> happened to, to me. me. Me, I was the first person it happened it to. It was I, like seven or eight years ago. Yeah. I just didn't want to tell anybody. <laughs> so, uh, other memory uh, members of the Crabtree family, claim, like, oh my god, somewhere <laughs> to get away from our name, <laughs> claim to have also saw the monster while hunting, but did not bother taking shots like Lynn did. No, bye. Go look at that ass. 
Yeah, on that 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 folk monster. <laughs> Damn, girl, I'm not you taking got a hairy no. Butt. I'm not taking no shots at that. <laughs> <laughs> there are many legends about uh, the monster's behavior. One that is more alarming for pets and farm owners is related to its diet. Okay. Ah, uh, because it will eat fucking cows and shit. Supposedly, it eats cows, pigs. It will take fucking pigs right out of the fucking pig pen. Ah, uh, supposedly the monster has been known to <laughs> just like lifts up the little lock. He's like, "Come here, dinner." No, there was a fucking story. You come with uh, me. So. No, get this. There's a story on the documentary I was watching about a fucking guy that found a fucking deer in a tree. And he was like, looked up and How he was like, a dead deer, a dead deer. It was dead? It was dead. Well, it, it, could, it could have been alive when it got up there. No, they have no physical ability to be able to climb. There's fucking no way. And it was up in a fucking tree. And he's like, well, I pulled it down. And like, he's like, why would you touch it? Because Ew. he's like a hunter kind of guy. Like, he's, he's in fucking Arkansas. Like, what do you think they're yeah, doing? Yeah, he's like eating He's it. fucking his He's kids. like, free dinner. I didn't have to shoot <laughs> shit and save my bullets. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry, I just said you guys were and fucking your fucking kids. <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry. I, I, it's just a joke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking, so there's a fucking deer in the tree, and he just took it down, and he, like, looked at, like, how it died, and just seemed like it just, like, got, like, torn apart and thrown up in a tree. Fucking weird, okay? I, I just, like, I want to see, like, the, the thing that scared it so fucking bad that it <laughs> yes. did such a big jump and it just, like, got caught oh. up in that fucking tree. Like, Sonic the Hedgehog yeah. ran up the fucking tree. The monster is reported to feed on, like, live chickens and dogs. I didn't hear what the dogs were, which is kind of fucked up. Oh, it, my dog would fucking kill it. A go, huge creature. Go, Chloe, go, like, Chloe, imagine, go. You know, Arr. have you ever seen the original, really, it's really shitty, the original Hulk movie? He just takes two dogs and, like, fucking throws them out of the fucking air and shit. No, It'd be like that. That's what he's, that's what don't if it was a cat, I'd feel bad. But I had, no, if it was a no, cat. I love, I love all animals. Cats deserve to be thrown against oh, balls. fuck you. If you have I a love cat, I want you to pick it up right now and just see how fucking hard it can hit them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Give your house some fucking character. <laughs> my cat sees ghosts. What does your dog do? Lick its balls? Oh, it looks no, like a vagina. Oh, and dude, she's good at it too. <laughs> okay, I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> no, we we got we you got onto it. it. Has You've seen all... her go. Yeah, she I goes know. for okay. like 30 minutes straight. It's also been said <laughs> that the occasional eats a calf or a hog. So motherfucker, this is uh crazy. I don't know if I have this encounter. I don't think I do. Um this guy fucking he's chilling on his porch. He's like, you know, drinking. He's trying to read a book, but he keeps falling to fucking sleep. And then he he hears something like walk on the porch. He's outside of his porch in Arkansas with a shotgun, probably. And and then he's like reading a book with a shotgun in his lap. I'm just joking. I don't know if he has a shotgun. Of course he does. He's from Arkansas. <laughs> and then he's like kind of like putting his head down. And then he says he thinks his wife is coming up on the porch. So he's like half drunk and he opens the door to let her oh, in. Oh, I thought you were going to say he just starts shooting. No, no, no. <laughs> he thinks she has groceries or some shit, right? Yeah. And then he looks up like from his like drunken stupor, I would assume, because he's from Arkansas. Uh, and there's a, the monster there. And it's so, okay, like, let me get this straight. He sat down. He fell asleep on his he porch. He fell asleep on his porch. And then he thought his wife hold was up, coming hold up. up the so porch. So he fell asleep on his porch with a shotgun in his lap. I was joking I about was, the shotgun. I know. Let me paint the picture. Carry okay. on. He fell asleep with a shotgun in his lap. And he was so dazed and confused, he heard a bump. And without opening his eyes, yeah, he yeah. stood from his chair. <laughs> yeah. He walked over to his door. No, no, it was like right by him. You know, he, like this old. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, I mean? yeah. You know, like where he's. You know, okay, imagine Arkansas. Oh, if anyone dude, can. Okay, so no. like he's rocking on an old no. wooden rocking chair out front of his house. We got a new flaw. What? We're, we're saying that people from Arkansas are gracious enough to open the doors for the <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm sorry, guys. We're having a lot of fun at your episodes <laughs> yeah, right now. Um, make fun of Canadians all you want. We're proud of being Canadian. Uh, so, like, which is funny. And then fucking, so he sees it. He freaks out. It must scare it off. And he say he says it, like, lap, uh, fucking, like, I don't know, like a six-foot fence or some shit. It just, like, boom, like, just fucking leapt the fence. I didn't think it, I had that. So I was like, I think my, my fucking dog could do that. Hey, you want to talk about what my dog can do? A five foot. Okay, we're not talking about your dog anymore. She, she could leap a six you know foot fence. You know what my cat can do? Yeah, see, fucking nothing but ghost. bitch and fucking see wine. Ghost and and you, wine. Pay, you pay money for something that doesn't care an ounce about your fucking well being. They care. It cares about Chelsea. No, my girlfriend. It fucking no, doesn't. it does. It's a cat. It literally it harasses doesn't. her. It doesn't though. You're fucking wrong. <laughs> you think emotion uh, animals can't feel empathy? You're no, no, bad no. as a pedophile. Hundred percent. 
cats can't. All right, you just said you're as a pedophile. No, said, you said 100%. <laughs> fuck off. I meant a- animals can't All feel right, them. let's get into it. Fuck you for twisting that. <laughs> um, so the reports of mauled and mutilated dogs have been reported in the area, which is fucking weird. So the is things so fucking sad. up. I know, it is sad. So because sad. honestly, this thing wants to fucking eat. Dogs really have, ask the Chinese, don't have too much fucking nutrients to it. It's a lot of fat and cartilage because a lot of dogs, especially in China, because they're probably starved unless they fatten them up, are fucking like, they have muscle fat on that. Like, it's just muscle and fat. Yeah. That's what dogs are. Like, there's so, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you think of any fucking dog, even the tiny ones. Oh, I've seen some fat boys. Oh, yeah. He's boy. a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, boy. That's a big boy. <laughs> so, and I think that's crazy because, like, I don't know why he feeds, but I think it's anything he finds. Okay. And believers said the monster is no hoax because who would go to the amount of effort to fucking stage killing dogs? It's like Some J- Jeffrey down kid. the street. Yeah. Be like, oh, like dogs. It was a monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so bad. Uh, the monster is described at seven feet tall, sometimes two ten feet. It stands on its two legs like a human or a primate. Seven, seven to it's ten also is a big... very heavy, estimated around 300, 300 pounds is like heavy, but there is people on earth right now that are 600 pounds. And if if you think about it, if this is a creature that... There are that, people on Earth right now that are 800 pounds. No, they're dead. You can only live 600 pounds. The, the show's about it. They're all dying in their bed. Well, I know, but I'm saying that people are still more than that. Big Pun died at, remember, like 650 or whatever? What you it, the fattest person alive is? Okay, you could look at Can we do a quick one? Yeah. I want to know. It, uh, so, like, which is weird because you think about it. Like, a 300-pound person, like... Um, like I know a tall, uh, I know a buddy and shit, and he's like kind of stocky but tall, and he's like fucking two eight, two like sixty, because he's taller and he's also big. Like the thing is, if this thing is supposed to be a muscular creature, right? How much do you think? Can I guess? Yeah. Nine hundred and seventy three pounds. You're wrong. How big is this? It's- <laughs> what? How big? Right now, Dude, living it's- or it's- just like in history, the fattest person. I don't know if it's history or living. It what did you say. look up? The fattest person. Oh on wait, Earth? no. Uh, he lived for fucking forty-two years. What? <laughs> yeah, that adds up. He died at forty-two. He didn't live a long life. Well, whatever. But, okay, let's when hear was it. this? What date was this? Uh, he was born nineteen forty-one. He died nineteen eighty-three. Here, why check is he this so out. fat? Get guess again. Nineteen forty-one when get, the war was started. Guess one more time. All right. It was more than your last guess. Guess one more time. Fattest person ever recorded. A thousand two hundred. What? There's no way. <laughs> Joe Broder Michon was an American. Of course, he was fucking American. Was an American 40s. man at his <laughs> peak oh, weight. Was the heaviest human being ever recorded, weighing one thousand <coughs> four hundred pounds. How? What did he eat? Is there a picture of kids? <laughs> kids. <laughs> That's the only picture? I don't know. It was just a quick one. All right, oh, there might... he is. He looks like Big Pun, but his legs Dude, are bigger. No, he's way bigger than Big Pun. And also, he might have been strong. That might have had a lot of muscle in there, too. All right, we'll post 1, a picture. 1,400 pounds. Yeah. When we post sh- this episode. Look at him on the right. <laughs> he's standing. His legs, but must he's got to be like jacked. seven feet too. He looks huge. His legs must have been jacked. Yeah. I worked with a fat dude. He had a huge gut. The guy was like probably like three fifty. Yeah, and yeah. his legs look like oh, fucking tree was, trunks. Was he three fifty? Or was he one thousand four hundred <laughs> fucking pounds? Well, I think about this monster, right? Um, so its allegedly body is covered in long, thick hair. Folks who claim to have witnessed the cryptid also say the unusual long arms and cone-shaped head. So it's kind of like Bigfoot, but it's like a cone head that got like fucked a gorilla. You know, like an alien thing. Bigfoot? Yeah, you know the cryptids? Uh, no, cryptids. No, I want to see like an alien Bigfoot. That's all I'm picturing. It also uh, supposedly smells like shit. I it smells really fucking bad. Like the skunk would. ape, like Bigfoot. Like I, I can't imagine see, a wilderness well, creature like weird. that that's why bathing. Is, why do these creatures show up everywhere? Fucking Juan in Florida has the fucking skunk ape. There's a fucking ape that is like huge and like people see all the time and it smells like a fucking skunk. And then you have Arkansas that looks like he's a creature and it's fucking huge. They're all just baked. Like, they're like, all uh, baked out of their tree and they're like, no, someone's skunk. on acid. Someone's <laughs> on fucking acid. The Falk monster is definitely not a thing in the past. 
There have been sightings in recent history. In fact, we'll get to that in the end of this episode, but there was one in 2017. A husband and wife driving at the dusk near Boggy Creek. They reportedly saw a tall, hairy, human-like figure staying in the distance near the trees. The couple was unable to get a close look, but the wife claimed she did not think the creature was human. The people claimed to see the monster just three weeks after it terrorized the Fords in 1971. The Fords? The Fords, the family. Oh. The guy, the fucking... Harrison? No, Bobby and Elizabeth, okay? I, I know. And they stuck a fucking hand... There was a homeless guy sticking his hand through the fucking screen. I, I, I know what you're... Oh, my God. While driving, the group poorly saw a large, hairy entity run across the highway. According to the sheriff, he considers the witness to be reliable people. Unlikely to lie about such a situation. Hmm. Hmm. What was that? Oh, I had a fucking... There's another f- fucking... Uh, people see this shit. Like, there was people from Ohio... That moved to Arkansas or were like going to Arkansas to see their grandpappy or some okay. shit. And they didn't know anything about the monster. And they fucking saw. Like they're like they reported the police uh, and they saw some weird ass creature running through the forest. It's it's again, it's Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably see a lot of weird Too ass much creatures. moonshine. <laughs> Whatever actually happened. Coke! <laughs> I don't believe it. So whatever actually happened to the Fords the night of the encounter with this monster, it scared them considerably. For uh, Bobby Ford, a state of shock after the incident appeared to be authentic to those who spoke to them. Okay. In fact, considerable Ernest Waver... Oh, this guy's name is Ernest Wal- Walraven. Lent the family... <laughs> His name is literally... Arkansas. Ernest <laughs> fucking Walraven. Uh, lent um, his family a gun and ammunition for protection. Law enforcement also noted that the Ford was the Fords were so scared that uh, Bobby Ford that he barreled through the front door, not even bothering to open it. He broke down his front door, his own front door. Yeah, I don't understand what that is. That's, he, that's, he broke <laughs> down the fucking. I don't even get what that. He means. was so fucking scared. He ran through a door instead of opening it. Oh, I, oh! After the monster attacked him. Oh, he ran through. Yeah. Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> just barrel through the like you think you're gonna be in better shape out for doing yeah, that yeah. as opposed to opening it that so, 0.5 <laughs> seconds it takes to open the door that's fucked that's so <laughs> okay. fucked so they can even date back monster incidences back to 1834 with the mysteries which I'm saying goes way back and I, why I mentioned Bring kind of the Wendigo way, way earlier back. like cause like People, like, back then, there's a bunch of fucking monster sightings and shit. Who knows what it actually was if people were going insane yeah, or yeah. eating mushrooms or something. But Probably. <laughs> various Tripping? citizens reported, Probably. like, in the 1834, various citizens reported seeing a large hairy monster roaring around the town. Okay. It's like, who is this large hairy monster? He's just like, ah, ice cream. <laughs> sightings. <I'm a> bookstore. <laughs> sightings increased in the 1900s. It's Arkansas. There's no bookstores. <laughs> Wow. Sightings increased in the 1900s. In 1997, there were 40 reports of the monster, which is a lot considerably. You're like 40 out of like 800 people that live in that town. They're that's all that's a good, that, yeah, that's a good uh, amount, actually. Yeah, they have not been uh, any What's reports that? of, like the folk, 5%. Uh, of the folk monster killing any humans, although they have been attacked like booby, like booby, booby food. Uh, there are also very, uh, very reports of how the monster sounds. And some residents, <laughs> some residents sound uh, claim he sounds like a peacock. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It hurt my throat to do that. It, we shouldn't have done that then. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun for your throat. It was fun at the time. It Billy has fun, fun for his throat every Friday. <laughs> However, others who have heard the monster describe it like a loud human, like roaring scream. <laughs> I can't tell. I thought you were dead. <laughs> you are too. I was up here. That fucking hurt my throat. Man, that made my eyes like bulge out of my head a little bit. Like I can feel my eyes watering. Don't even talk to me about eyes bulging out of the head. <laughs> yeah, that's all you have. Don't even mind. start that conversation. One witness with me. claims that the cryptid made a loud gong like sound. Gong. <laughs> Why did I say gong? I was like, gong. <laughs> The film of the legend, uh, the legend of the Boggy Creek monster, was released 
uh, like we said, 1972, and it quickly became a success. It took on all uh, a docudrama approach to get okay. back in the film. And they actually, I guess they actually had interviews uh, with folk Arkansas residents blended with reenactments. So they kind of like for a hundred grand, it, like, you know, decently low budget for probably making no, this 300 isn't, this grand. This isn't a Hollywood <laughs> show. I, I'm sure they're just doing this for like local But they will films. end up, yeah, and they end up getting into places all across yeah. like, the country. They weren't trying Canadians to make Canadians probably fucking... never heard of it because we haven't even heard of what Arkansas is. <laughs> I'm just the sta- Every time someone lists the states, it's always like the, the last one and they're like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, and honestly, I hate on Juan all the time for this, but yo, know, Florida's like one of the fucking worst when it That's comes it, to people. I, I'm sure they like when they list the states in order, like when they're like in school and like as they carry on, like the last four of them. New York, California, like and no, 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 but everything just gets like quiet. Like yeah, they're that for soon, yeah. and then like in Florida, in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> so we got we got New York, you know, we got we got the we got California, you know what I mean? Uh, we got Texas, everything's big in Texas. Uh, we got. You don't know any other states? Got, no, no, I was just joking. I was oh, like, and then we got you know, you know. Florida. Florida. Yeah, f- we got Florida. You I got, guess. Yeah, Flor- uh, Florida's here. And you got our, our right, Arkansas. Yeah, people, <laughs> people eat their babies. <laughs> that's okay. Can we I've start never that heard rumor? Of that shit. I, I just, it's a rumor. Right. I just want to start it. Can you guys start it for us? You motherfuckers In all Arkansas. eat your babies. <laughs> the hospitals have to immediately take away all your children for like a 72 hour wait period because all your instinct of nature is like, fucking eat it. It's because the Falcon Monster is possessing them like a Wendigo. <laughs> uh, so, so they actually did like, and they uh, blend reenactments. That's why like the songs in it, I'm pretty sure. And the guy at the beginning that we played the episode is like, you know, a lonely cry of the monster. Like they like they they added shit, which is kind of fun. And I didn't know this. And the film spawned five sequels. Really? And the last oh, one was released in 2016. I should check it out. Five fucking sequels. Hey, well, shit, fucking 2016. That might be pretty good. Like, yeah, that might actually be better quality. I heard the Slenderman movie was fucking horrible. I didn't watch that. Which will eventually, I didn't watch it either because I heard it was horrible. But we might, we might, I uh, might watch it just to, for shits and gigs. But we're definitely going to talk about. Have you ever took recommendations for um, anybody? I'm not watching fucking Nosfer fucking Nosferatu till it's fucking Christmas. <laughs> watch <I'm> Nosferatu. <laughs> you look like you're gonna fucking murder. I'm very somebody. angry. Okay. Everybody watch Nosferatu gonna, on Amazon okay. Prime. That I was listening to an older episode amazing. when I was at the cottage to check over everything. And I heard you mention it like fucking so many episodes. Oh, it's so back. fucking weird how it still hasn't gotten launched. Um, we started watching it. and It was around Christmas, and I was like, "We'll watch it right after Halloween. Perfect timing." That's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where the footprints of the monster taken outside the Ford's family home in nineteen seventy-one, authentic, mm-hmm. according to archaeologists, an archaeologist. Okay. Dr. Uh, Frank Stan, it's almost like sh- it's almost like Stambra, but it's like Stambra. <laughs> yeah, from- the fucking Stambra. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like the shadow people shit. Uh, but it's Dr. Uh, Frank Shamhamba. Shamhamba. <laughs> Pro- <laughs> he says probably not that like that they're authentic. Uh, after uh, f- studying the photos of the footprint shortly after the first sighting. Shamhambra uh, <laughs> stated there was a 99% chance the footprints were fake. He stated primates and humans always have five toes. While the footprints only showed three, he said an ape like creature could likely not survive in the Arkansas oh, maybe, environment. Maybe both his fucking toes were broken. So they, they were, he had five, but two of them were like broken, like directly up. So they, they didn't leave prints. And he just had like on both toes, symmetrically broken toes could happen i like hypothetically if something like something like came back on you you could break like your biggest and next toe because those I are know, all bigger than the other ones me a thought of like maybe yeah. like you know the tallest man was like eight and a half foot or whatever yeah maybe it was some human that got lost out in the woods and then like his diet just got used to eating raw animals and then he just became this could be and i mean maybe Never his know. diet it made him live longer like i'm just joking maybe he ate it. his own toes because he was hungry one day and he couldn't find Way back deep in the woods yeah there's a way <laughs> down where the sulfur river flows all right after the success <laughs> after the success of the legend of the boggy creek and uh 
the Falk Monster. Arkansas saw an increasing rate of like tourism as visitors show up to be like search for the cr- creature. There's motherfuckers like that everywhere. There is fucking dudes that hunt down Bigfoot and stuff like that, and they do the craziest shit to fucking find Bigfoot, and they're all drunk in the fucking woods. But I saw him. I swear to God, and then they fucking I swear to God, it wasn't the opioids. <laughs> It was real. A ca- a cafe known as the Boggy Creek Cafe opened up that served monster themed food and drink items. Cool. Like if I could get the once that they let me in, but I doubt it. But if I could get to the States and I had money, like lots of money, because it takes money to travel, especially during COVID. Yeah. You know, you just gotta pay them for like I don't wanna wear my mask. And um, I don't wanna wear my mask. <laughs> But, like, that I would go to places like that. Like, if one wants to go to Skinwalker Ranch, I would definitely do it if I could afford to go down there just to go to Skinwalker Ranch. Um, yeah, it's a little... That's a bit of a trip there. <laughs> I would go to uh, Arkansas and see if they fuck babies and eat them. And I'd love to take a family trip down to Arkansas. <laughs> as soon as you roll in, I'm sure it'd be like, okay, kids, roll up your windows. <laughs> uh, your door's locked, too, so it's locked. That's good. Okay. <laughs> good, good lock, <laughs> It also and Now we just blow through just, these okay, lights. This is even better. It also sold ashtrays with the... the the, the Fook monster, the fu- the whatever. The is f- it, this could be all a fucking publicity stunt from seventy one. They're like, no, I saw the, they could, I saw they the fucking had, one they, place. They could have had dope. that fucking that movie in their making, and they're like, we need yeah. people to. Fucking I know, but start, starting a trend, way, so it like, makes it look yeah. like we made this movie after that. Yeah, well, it's like, well, that could be possible. Yeah, and but it, it, was it just is just a marketing. It is trend. funny that they sell like it's a fucking <clears> town of like eight hundred people. It's farmland, and then they have fucking people coming here, and there's a mart with a big, like, a, a fucking, like, a store where you can go, and there's a big fucking creature on the top, and it's home with a fuck monster. I bet fucking, I bet Arkansas is where Tamacos came from. That's not, that doesn't exist. That's Tamacos? A Sim- it's a Simpson episode. I know, I was joking. I know. I'm, so, I'm impressed that you knew that one, though. <laughs> I, I, my stupid? That, that's that they, episode came that, out when you were, like, fucking, like, like in the womb. That's where it, no, we didn't. Jesus. Um, Anyways, um, so they sold Ash Treasure. I think it's pretty dope. Like, Ash would fucking join out into a Sky Squatch face. Keychains, other souvenirs. Reading Home of the Fuck Monster. I always want to say uh, the, uh, yeah, I get the Falcon Carry Monster. Uh, local gas station also sold souvenir, uh, souvenirs. The one I saw, and they have a big creature on the top. It's like a mart. Nice. So come to Monster Mart. 100%. Monster good marketing. Mart. That's a good marketing. Uh, store. The owner uh, of the home where the monster had been sighted began charging visitors admission to explore his property. Fucking A. I would too. I want to talk about recent sightings. How recent? My whiskey is almost It's done. Arkansas. They're probably from like, yeah, they probably declared them yesterday, but like, I, I, I forgot to tell you, but in 92, <laughs> I, I did say something happens. <laughs> so, so, in 2017, in May. Wow, Falk, that actually is In Falk, late. Arkansas. Because like it literally tells you where it's from, but it's all in the same place. So. Yeah, yeah. Carry if it on. was somewhere else, they'd be like, "I, I all, saw it... a goddamn Bigfoot, but his head was the size and the shape of a pylon." Because that's what I goddamn sp- almost turned around. I thought my road was closed. <laughs> <laughs> because they're supposed to have like cone heads, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> A man and wife were driving uh, south of the Falk near Boggy Creek. And there is a creek with a bridge. Okay. With a thing, where they got this from, the motherfuckers that probably first saw it. Okay. And they went around dusk. As the woman looked towards the... As the woman the looked... <laughs> fuck <laughs> Looked at my nut. <laughs> as the woman looked towards northbound lane, she saw a real tall, hairy, human-like figure... Standing at the tree line, she became terrified as she looked closer at the huge figure and exclaimed, oh, What the fuck is that? Her husband was driving. Like, you can be talking, bitch. You're 450 pounds yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Her husband was driving and could not look back fast enough to see the figure. Well, they can't because they're driving that van, the, the handicapped vans with no back windows. And so, like, if it passes your driver window, you're gone. The woman does not think it was a person! And that's where it ends. No. Yeah, that was it? That That's all that was? Yeah. By yeah. Uh, Lynn Blackburn. Yeah, shit. Uh, 2018, October, Falk, Arkansas. Two female witnesses were driving down under rural highway. You think if you saw something like that, you turn around? I'm trying to do it like, what's that fucking show, like Dateline or whatever? Like, 
This guy murdered his wife. He fucked this hooker named Sherry before he murdered his wife. Uh, two female witnesses were driving down on a rural highway, 71, in the early evening when they saw a large, upright figure run across the road in approximately four strides. Boom. Walked across the highway in four steps. Four strides. I could do that. I fucking doubt it. I bet you if I was running, I and doubt they were it. like they were as they passed strides, by their car, they could see it running down the middle of the road. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do me All walking right. across the highway okay. in four steps, and we're gonna film it. All right, we'll do it if I you can survive. It. How many? How many lanes each side? Highway seventy. I'm. I'm guessing. I'm not doing this on the no, four hundred one. I'm saying like a four lane highway. Yeah, four lanes, hundred percent. One, two, three, four, and my fifth step would be off the road. Well, that's thirty bucks. Thirty. Bucks. I highly doubt Done. that's going to happen. Guaranteed. All right. You know what? I actually on my way home, I might pick up his, and I'll go down to a four. No, lane you have to film it then, and yeah, I don't I'll trust you till I'm there. No, no, no. We'll show you film can it. Stage what do you it. mean? How do I? They have technology that can manipulate the consciousness of humans. How do you think I'm gonna do that in two hours? But I don't even have a computer at home. <laughs> All right. We'll Sorry, see. a computer that works. A four lane highway. Fucking computer There's that gonna takes be two cops to pulling up, being like, "What the fuck oh, is this child doing?" Fine. All right, let's get back. Okay, I'll get you. Four lanes. All right, another another story. So the two females that were driving down the rural road, of uh, the highway, right? Yeah. They saw the fucking upright creature run across four strides. As they passed by with their car, they could see it running in the middle of the road, which runs perpendicular to the highway. What does that mean? Perpendicular. So they run. Beside. So he's running beside a car? Yeah. I oh, he said he's running perpendicular fuck. to the highway. Means, he's a yeah, fast he's, motherfucker. He's, he's running on the curb. <gasps> That's a fast skill alive. Well, S- super bad. I can I can do it in uh, four steps. They, so. <laughs> they quickly turned around. By the time they got back to the side of the road... The figure was already out of sight. Whatever it was, it was moving very quickly with a great agility. If I had the clip, I'd be like, oh, he's the fastest man alive. It's fucking Michael Sierra riding down the fucking block running from the cops. <laughs> 2019. That's not new. That's last year. That's pretty new. Yeah, last year. In December. Which is pretty oh, cool. oh, you pushed it. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> okay. Uh, the the Fook in Fook, Arkansas, or fucking Fauk, Arkansas, a young witness said she saw, I saw a monkey like man uh, in the woods while sitting with her father in the truck along one of these uh, roads at night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The location near the Sulphur River were many sightings of the alleged fuck monster. Have been reported over the years. Just oh, saw a monkey like man. I saw it was a Billy monkey running. like man it, it in was, the <laughs> woods. It was monkey Billy. like okay. man in the. All right. No, whatever. You don't like it? No, but is it time for something? Oh, this, story, this is, is reporting this... from somewhere that was not Falk. Oh my, my god. god! 2019 November, that a month before. That's a, that's a month. Okay. That motherfucker like left you and came right You know what this right place back. is called? I, huh. I wish we had one listener from this place. And if mm. you do, follow the Strange Brew Podcast page on Facebook. What's that page? Or what's that place? Smack over Arkansas. Smack over? Smack over. It's literally spelled smack over. Like in one word. I smacked over this bitch as she was trying to like pour up my drink. Yeah, you gotta be pretty hard to live in smack over. You gotta be, <laughs> you had to have e- eaten at least be- like nine babies. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say you gotta beat at least five wives and then marry the sixth one, then you treat it right. Yeah. yeah. So and s- even then it's it's not really right. It's just normal. <laughs> it, it, this place is sixty five miles from uh uh Fook or f- fucking Falk. Okay, that's not that's, Falk, not, that's Arkansas. Not too, too far. So the, the Falk doable. has eight hundred people. Yeah. This has two hundred people, and guess what? Hmm. They're all related. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. In towns like that, <laughs> they're gonna eat us. No, but that just happens. A man. couple yeah. driving south of Smackover saw a tall, upright animal dart into the woods around 11 p.m. late night. Uh, the creature well looked as it? as though it was about to run across the road, and when it saw the car, it in ran back steps. into the woods. It's like ah. <laughs> the couple described it as being a very large, at least six to seven foot tall. Definitely not human, though. The eyes were, ref- like, reflected back at the, the headlights of the car, 
before it ran off with a swiftness hmm. that was too quick for a human. That's super weird. The location was 75 miles east of fuck Arkansas, Falk, Arkansas. Although the vast wooded areas of South Arkansas, blah, 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 blah. there's lots of fucking, there's lots of fucking stories about the Falk monster. Way back deep in the woods, down where the sulfur river flows. I don't like this song There's anymore. This I already the old place that folks call Boggy Creek. See this. Listen to that at the end of this episode because I'd love it. It's a delicious song. You ready? You ready, mustache? I'm getting it. It's coming. But it's time for. No, you don't have the. Ready? It's time for. What time is it for? I know what time it's for. It's time for Billy's Fun Fact of the Day! My fucking eardrums. Uh, uh, I'm uh, from Arkansas and it's time for the Fun Fact of the Day. Don't don't forget to uh, fuck your babies. (laughs) (laughs) PSA (laughs) announcement. (laughs) <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, you should have fucking known about this one before you went camping. And maybe if you even had me on before you went I camping. went to the cottage. I didn't go camping. Well, I went glamping, well, bitch. Well, same thing. You're outside and it's wilderness. Anyways, guess what? Scientific studies have shown is one of the best ways to get rid of mosquitoes. Playing EDM music. <laughs> Really? The vibrations of the music? Play, playing electronic dance music could be just what it, you need to scare away those pesky mosquitoes in the summer. According to 2019... We're not um, in the summer Tropics, anymore. This is October. The, the Skrillex song, Scary Monsters and Nice <laughs> Spring, combines very high and very low frequencies as well as excessive loudness and consistently ex- escalating pitches that discourages the yellow fever mosquito from biting victims and mating. Uh, Tomcat's fun fact of the day. Skrillex, the motherfucker you like that plays the fucking electrical house music or whatever the fuck it's called. Nobody likes Skrillex um, anymore, man. I, 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 like, I, I stop get being it. on 2009 but, beef. But, no, I'll be, on, no, I'll be on 2005 beef. Is like... Skrillex was Sonny Moore from first to last, a fucking emo band. Look up, if you know what Skrillex is and you don't know what from first to last is, look the words up from first to last. I'm sorry I started this, guys. On fucking uh, YouTube, and then you'll know what I listened to when I was 14, okay? Nobody cares what you listen to when you're 14. Oh, everybody. <laughs> all right, follow all the pages, www.strangebrew.com, strangebrewpodcast.com. We should have a .ca. We shouldn't be .com. I ain't paying like fucking three bucks for a .ca. We should have a .ca. I'll give you three bucks a month. No, I'm not doing that. Is it a month or total? Are you seriously? I would rather pay. I'd rather pay for a www.com. Like C-U-M dot. Yeah, but nobody's going to know how to fucking spell that. You'll never get visitors. I think every man knows how to spell that word. Yeah, but if you just say hey, dot, dot hey, com. Hey, baby on Tinder, you want to see me come? All right, follow the pages. That's not true. I've seen <laughs> K-U-M before. <laughs> what? People spell come K-U-M. Because they're fucking illiterate. All right, that's fucking weird. Arkansas Go, go listen to Ari the Rugged Man's <laughs> recent night. Uh, Gross! Stop! The We're Crap. done. Goodbye. The <laughs> river flows. There's this Something living back in that swamp But what it is ain't nobody knows If you listen to the old timers This is what they teach Better not go in their woods They say the folks living that round about They always know when he comes around Cause all the dogs everywhere They all stop to be and howl May be creeping around your house. He'll slip up on your porch. Tell me what was that sound? There ain't nothing stops him when he gets the urge to prowl. Do you prowl? Do you believe in the foul monster? Well, maybe so. If you've ever heard his lonely old scream. Tell me, do you believe in the foul monster? As the stories.
truth are told about the legend of Boggy Creek. Call the dogs in. Ha, 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 ha. 